Hey everyone and happy healing. So today I am in Naples, Florida and I did not bring my juicer with me, my Nama well, because I was a little nervous to travel with it, didn't want to damage it. So instead, my aunt had bought this attachment for her KitchenAid and honestly, it worked really well. My phone dropped here because you guys know I'm terrible at editing or recording, editing all of it. So that's where we're at. But anyways, you just it's super easy to attach and you just have to make sure that the um what am i juicing here the watermelon is cut small enough or whatever you're using is cut small enough to go down the chute um if this is like my old juicer my not my vitality that had the smaller chute to put it in instead of like my new uh, j2 juicer which has the big hopper so i was actually really familiar with this and it wasn't a big deal at all and i had a bowl to catch the pulp and a I put a strainer over a measuring cup to grab any extra just stuff in my juice pulp in my juice I guess you could say because um, I wanted a nice smooth juice and I didn't know how this juicer was going to be because this is my first time using it but I really did like it and I liked it so much I added it to my Amazon storefront so I think I had to put a couple options in there uh, for people to check out um, it, to see if you guys like it if you wanted to get it it is a much cheaper option and it's pretty great not gonna lie if you do get this juicer i just wanted to say don't put it on like a super high speed i think like two was what i had it on i didn't want it on something crazy because it didn't seem to work any better and it just seemed like wasted energy for the poor kitchen aid um but honestly, this was such a good juice. If someone was like, okay, what did you make this in? I would have no idea that they didn't use like a really expensive juicer. Okay, and here the measuring cup is getting a little too full, so I'm going to take the strainer and I actually end up dumping that in that big gray pulp bin. And then I'm just going to take the juice and put it in my big pitcher, which I'm grabbing right now to show you. And I'm actually just letting the juice drip out right now, letting it run and drip out. So now I'm going to do that. Look how much juice I already got. This did give quite a good amount of juice. Of course, watermelon juice is always going to give you a good amount of juice because it's so great um so high in water content what am i saying you guys i've been at the beach all day while i'm doing this voiceover so i'm a i'm a little bit tired but ain't no complaints from from my department and it tasted fantastic just so you know and i also wanted you to see how dry this pulp was right for a hundred dollar juicer not too bad 